Hi, I'm Yvette Rios, and on this Holiday How To's, I'm gonna show you guys how you can bring some spooky vibes to your dinner table. The first idea is a fun project that the kids are gonna to love to help out with. We are gonna make little jack-o'-lantern drinks. So what you need for this is you need a paint pen or a paint marker, and you're basically going to freehand a jack-o'-lantern or get the kids to draw their own jack-o'-lantern faces on the glasses. And you can kind of have fun with this. Now you need an orange drink to go with it to give you that jack-o'-lantern look. I've got some orange soda here, which is a guilty pleasure in my family. You could also use orange juice if you don't want to give your kids soda. So I'm just gonna cut some orange slices like this and then check these out, little green straws. So cute. And that is gonna be the stem for our jack-o'-lanterns. Don't these look so cute? And they're gonna add so much color to our table. For our entree, I'm gonna be serving a pizza pot pie. So basically, super easy. You're gonna fill it in with any ingredients that you would normally put on a pizza. So it's got Italian sausages, it's got green peppers, onions, mozzarella cheese. So delicious and so easy. Now, to make it fit in with our Halloween theme, I'm gonna do something really cool with the top of our pot pie. So I've got some pie crust here that you just roll it out a little bit. And then I've got a little template that I printed out. Eyes, a nose, and a jack-o'-lantern mouth. Now all you need to do is cut out your shapes. You're gonna put your pie crust on top, so just carefully transfer it over. I'm just gonna trim my excess dough from around the side, and now you're just gonna go around and you're just gonna pinch the sides. Okay, that looks pretty cute. Now, for the final step, we need a little egg wash so it gets nice and brown. And there he is. Now it's time to put him in the oven. 400 degrees and 40 to 45 minutes later, or until it's nice and bubbly and golden brown. Isn't he so cute? Okay, now comes my favorite part when all the food and the decor come together. It's time to set the table. Aren't these so cute? And the best part is, look at this. Dun, dun, dun. So cool. I can't help it. I love candy corn. Look at how the spooky decor and the Halloween themed food and the dinnerware all come together to create one meal the whole family is gonna be excited about. And that's the whole point of putting a little extra effort into your tablescape. All of the recipes for the food on this table are in Seasons Magazine. And for the last fun effect, a little dry ice in water. Now's the fun part, you get to go shopping and have tons of fun making your own frightfully fun family dinner. Happy Halloween.